Well, summer officially begins on Wednesday, the longest day of the year. The next day starts the descent. But that also means the usual heat and humidity are making their seasonal return. But it's already been a very warm year. year. The entire area setting records for heat, lack of snow. Meteorologist Andrew Kozak here to show us how climate change is affecting many aspects of life here in Philadelphia and really throughout the surrounding area. Yeah, we really saw some pretty incredible numbers earlier this year. You know, it was the winter that wasn't, right? With record warmth and more above average temperatures overall in the way. Changes are being seen in the city, at the shore, and even up in the mountains at the ski slopes. I dove into what we're seeing and spoke to a local expert who's working hard to mitigate the effects of climate change on the Delaware Valley. Chances are you didn't get much use of your hats, gloves, and snow shovels this past winter. January through April not only gave us above average temperatures for the entire area, but Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware set a new record for the warmest first quarter ever. Your initial reaction might be, oh great, hey, it's warmer out, I don't need to bundle up. Franco Montalto, professor of architectural and civil engineering at Drexel University, has been studying climate change in the Delaware Valley and is seeing impacts in agriculture. Apples are one of those crops that are very sensitive. They need a certain number of chill hours in the winter in order for them to be productive. And impacts on a major uptick on the tick population. I just went camping in South Jersey last uh, uh, last weekend and then one of the people in our group got 10 ticks on her. With no snowpack and the record warmth, the dangerous bugs are thriving. But if you have warmer winters, there's a greater likelihood that ticks can make it through the winter. What's not thriving? Many plants, flowers, and fruit and vegetable crops that rely on a healthy mix of seasonable temperatures that we didn't see this year. In some cases, the, the, the plants may get the wrong information. They may bloom before the pollinators are actually here. Causing flowers and produce prices to skyrocket. We have sort of implications on the availability of those types of, uh, those types of, of products and that could cost more at the store. And it's not just the record temperatures causing problems. The serious lack of moisture has led to a slew of issues, ranging from wildfires to hard times at area ski resorts. A lot of those ski resorts are at risk because there's going to be less natural snow, there's going to be a need to produce more snow, cost money to produce snow. Uh, some of them will be able to do with it, some of them won't. And sure, all of this on the heels of the record warm start to 23 can sound a little doom and gloom, but the good news is that the professor and many of his colleagues in climate and civil engineering are working on real solutions to weather changes. And here in Philadelphia and the Delaware Valley, it starts with recognizing those communities most affected by the extreme conditions. The people who live in these heat vulnerable communities can tell you these are, this is, these are my options when it's really hot. They're limited. I need more options. Um, and so engaging them in constructive conversation so that they can be part of the solution is a really important thing for scientists and governmental decision makers to think about. The latest official outlook from the Climate Prediction Center shows our area is likely to have above average temperatures through the end of the summer. Everything we do has to sort of have uh, maximize the, the sort of social impact, the ecological impact, the economic impact, and at the same time reduce climate risk. He's working on a lot. So coming up this summer, I'll have more about the local impacts of these warmer temperatures and bring you the latest on what Professor Montalto and his colleagues are doing in Philadelphia and the area to mitigate and lessen the effects of ongoing climate change. Mm.